vaccine yet. Texas Governor Greg Abbott's executive order puts elective medical procedures on hold until the COVID-19 hospitalization rate drops. NBC 6's Sydney Simone joins us now live from Christus St. Michael to explain the impact. Sydney. Good evening, Dan. Jackie, late last week, the Christus St. Michael Health System rose above the maximum percentage of COVID-19 hospitalizations for seven consecutive days, forcing doctors to choose whether or not to move forward with certain procedures. There's a concern that are your hospitals going to have the capability of taking care of not only your COVID-19 patients, but your other patients as well. Out of all the hospital beds, more than 15% are occupied by COVID patients. As a result, some pre-scheduled surgeries might have to wait until that number drops below 15%. The reason for that is that sometimes when you're doing these elective procedures or elective cases, you have patients who end up being admitted to the hospital who require a hospital bed, and it makes it difficult to admit other patients who are also sick to the hospital. For example, Dr. Lauren Robinson at Christus says if you plan to have surgery on your finger, that will have to wait if it's not life-threatening. However, outpatient procedures like mammograms are not affected by the executive order. What we're asking our, our physicians to do is to take a look at their surgery schedules, to talk to their patients and find out if right now is the safest time for them to, to uh, have those surgeries and those procedures done. Dr. Robinson says if hospitals begin to overflow with patients, then Christus St. Michael Health System will move non-COVID patients to other medical facilities in the area. And I'm happy to say here at Christus St. Michael, we stay prepared, we stay planning, and we're ready to serve. Medical professionals say we're at the end of the Thanksgiving surge. Now Texarkana is expecting a new wave of COVID-19 cases following Christmas and New Year's Eve, but they don't expect that new wave to show up until about three to six weeks from now. So we're looking at mid to late January. Reporting live in Texarkana, Texas, Sydney Simone, NBC6 News. All right, Sydney, thank you so much. Coming up, are you still waiting for your stimulus check? Many are, and there's an odd reason why. Plus, all eyes turn to Washington, D.C. tomorrow as the Electoral College votes will be counted. Certifying the next president.